get going. I'll clean up here. All right. Well, well, well. Now, what do we got here? You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you, boy? Dad and going to heaven. Hold it, damn it! You're gonna die if you don't help. You ain't gonna be heaven. You're going to. Got it. The hell's gotten into you, letting go like that. Dad. See, you should smile at me. If you wish, it makes you smile, man. You're just so cockeyed you can't tell the difference. Oh yeah? Then who's she waving at? Me. Me. Well, hello, Abigail. How are you? My Pony Express riders over here. Fine bunch of boys. Most of the time, anyway. I'm in love with yourself. OK. So she looks nice in a dress. She fills it out real nice. What do you think, kid? Safer not to. OK. So Abigail McPherson is pretty. All right, she's beautiful. But can she ride? Funny, I was just thinking that. Well, Jimmy, Cody, you're both wrong. She's smiling at Lou. At Lou? Lou? I guess she takes a shine to the silent type. Well, she'll love act then. <laughs> Rider coming. Gonna move. Hey, what kept you? What's with him? Something's gone wrong. Coming from the garden patch. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you, boy? Talk to him. What is it? I want you to speak to me. What the hell happened out there? Why can't you tell me? Let you alone. When you need to talk, I'll be there.
time to get this thing relined. What do you think, kid? Better ways to spend your money. Someone in this group's got to show us some style for the Pony Express. Hey, hey, come on, kid. It's a fine-looking hat. Yeah, I'd like to keep it that way. Make a hell of a target. Hey, no, no. What do you think, Jimmy? No. Read my mind. Come on, Jimmy, no. Kid, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. Lumber, I expect you boys to buy Cody a new hat. Now I'll quit teasing it. You hear that? All I wanted to do was show some pride. Now look! You need to learn, Cody. And you boys, too. The difference between pride and self-respect. Huh? Well, pride is a cheap commodity. You can leave a man when he's been whooped and kicked. Pride goes on, comes off easy, like that hat. Self-respect, nobody can take that from you. Go clear to the bone. Boys, remember that. Cody, that hat does look funny. <laughs> what about this one? Is this one all right? That's the one. That's too scrawny. Put back. I always thought of going on was a war. All right, you boys, why don't you go on off? Be back here in a half hour. No later. And don't go getting in trouble. Folks. Sam. Don't seem real pleased to see us. Oh, it's nothing like that, Emma. Did you hear about the stage massacre? Massacre? Where? What happened yesterday out of Mesa Verde? They, they killed everybody. They killed the driver, the shotgun guard, and two passengers. Found one of them about 50 yards away. I mean, it seemed more like an execution than a holdup. Any idea who done it? Some. But I need proof before I go arresting anyone or shoot my mouth off. Hey, Ike! Hey, Ike! Come on, Buck. Let's go see what's gnawing at him. Be back in a minute. Boy, easy, easy. What's the matter, boy? Ain't you got nothing to say? He can't talk, mister. He can hear, but he can't talk. You can't. You can't talk? <laughs> you can't talk? <laughs> Is that right, dummy? You really can't talk? The only dumb thing, mister, is you calling that boy a name. If I was you, I'd get while the getting's good. <laughs> Ike? You know him? Ike? Who is he, Teaspoon? His name's Nickerson. Him and his gang have done some bad crimes in his territory, but the law can't find a witness to put him away. Son, are you all right? You got something you want to tell us? to me, Marshal. That's right. Ike, is this the man you saw kill all those folks on the stage? He didn't see nothing. 
Barton Nickerson. You're under arrest. Let's go. You're buying trouble, Marshal. Let's get out of town. Could have fooled me. Looks like somebody's grandfather. Age don't matter. Poison from an old rattlesnake will still kill you. What's your plan, Marshal? You gonna try him here? No, Circuit Judge will be in Blue Creek in two days. I'll swing by Emma's in the morning. You be ready to travel. Uh huh. What if Nickerson's men try to get it back before morning? Well, I'll have two of my deputies stay at Emma's till we pick them up. You may start out, Marshal. Getting there's another story. Come on, Ike. Let's get to Emma's. We'll get you a good horse. It's a long way to Blue Creek. You got that right. It's a long way. Hear that, boy? It's a damn long way. Come on, Ike. Either you boys care for a hot cup of coffee? No, thank you, ma'am. Well, if it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Are you Mr. Spoon? Maybe later. Darker than the devil's heart out there. I'm gonna go check on the others. Evening, boys. Hear anything? Nope. Well, set easy. It's only about an hour before sunrise till so Sam gets here. Riders coming! Riders coming fast! Horses coming fast! One bunch from the south! Another bunch from the east! Be back. Reload him. And do it fast. Damn them. Here they come. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. like they're going. Don't touch your luck, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, straight for the house. Drove him off. They've had enough. So we. Everybody okay? We'll have Nick. Do you see Ike? Heading towards the stable. He's gonna try and make it to Blue Creek by himself. He don't want this trouble coming down on us. Says it's not our problem. Man sends someone to kill me, I make it my problem. They came for me. Then they came for us. You're crazy, Hickok. A big Beckwith's gonna slow you down something serious, Jimmy. You pick your traveling companions, I'll pick mine.
I know I. I love you too. Take care. Don't go the straight way. Take the back trails. Where we're going, there ain't no trails at all. It's even better. Don't worry. We know this territory better than anybody. Night. You're too late. Ike went on with others to Blue Creek. Well, that wasn't the plan. Figured they'd be back for Ike if he stayed. One of your deputies is dead. The other's wounded pretty bad. Pack of seasoned killers on their heels. It's a long, hard way to Blue Creek. Damn long, hard way. It may be true, but ain't nobody knows this territory like my riders. They'll get through. Let's hope you're right. Sam, take care. Rest of horses here. I can stay in the middle. What is it? I'm not sure. Wonder where Johnson is. I was just thinking that. He can smell money more than a mile away. Spread out, look around. Less than an hour old. Ain't the only thing that stinks around here. Something's wrong. Maybe a good idea to get him out of sight. Come on, Ike. Let's get you inside. You all try nothing. I swear I will cut him right here. Get it. Since when the mountain men work for Nickerson? Since 500 gold was put on Mountain's head. It's nothing personal. It's just business. 
Get your hand off that gun. Get your hand off that gun. It's far enough, boys. Get up there, boy. Get up there. Dead. This one's out cold. Nice piece of work, Lou. Take care of him. Look. What? What is it? Riders. Too many to count. And that's too many to fight. They're gonna be on us any minute. Somebody's gonna have to slow them down. But it's my middle name. Not this time. Now get out of here. Go on, get! Jimmy! I ain't leaving them here. I love you too, Hickok, but I'm better at a distance than you. Now get! You get killed, you're gonna have to answer to me, Cody. You'll owe me two dollars. Yeah, but what about him? We gotta keep moving. Nickerson says those kids will never make it. Well, you don't know him as boys. doesn't show up tomorrow i can't hold him you're not gonna free that butcher lord knows i don't want to but i only can hold him till tomorrow afternoon that's when i have to leave for grand junction judge can't you put it off i got three murderers up there there's one here if i don't show up they'll declare a mistrial set him free three to one sam i'm sorry but what if the sheriff keeps him till you get back no no i can't hold him not nickerson I don't have the men. I'll give you all the time I can, Sam. And then I got no choice. Now what do we do? Then I'm the boy. He's the only one we want. The rest you can go. <laughs> you say, guys. No sign. Got an hour of daylight left. They got his trap. Well, I got the back with. Let's ride through. Them. Too risky. They'll pick us off one by one. Or they'll starve us out. Damn it, Ark, why didn't you kill Nickerson when you had the chance? I'm sorry, we'll get out of here somehow. You know what I'm gonna do with my share? I'm gonna play it safe for a change. Buy me a spread, 
Raise me some cattle. What's left over, I'm gonna put in the bank. Put money in a bank? <laughs> no siree, not me, it ain't safe. Too many bank robbers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Side with Ike, it's too dangerous. It's suicide, kid. We ain't leaving you here, not after Cody. I'll be right behind you. Jimmy, give me the back way. You go, I'll make the climb. You can't climb that. Besides, you're the best shot. So you finally admit it, I'm the best shot. I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned if you don't lead him out. All right, since you put it that way. Hey, don't you get any ideas about hanging back, kid? Ain't no hero. Kid, take care of yourself. Big mouth. I'll get the horses. Okay, Ike. Where's the kid and Cody? Hopefully bringing up the rear. Damn. If anything happens to those kids, Emma will... Don't worry. They can handle themselves. Ike. gonna see you hang. I wouldn't bet on it. I'm not convicted yet. Well, you will be when he testifies. Yeah, if he testifies. Don't look to me like he's got much of a stomach for it. <laughs> Take a look at that dummy. He can't even talk. You're a dead man, Nickerson. That's enough, Jimmy. That's enough. Let's go. Sorry, I don't have better for you, but this is the safest place in town. <sighs> Sheriff will keep a good eye on you here, Ike. I'm going to take the rest of the boys out for a hot meal on me. I'll bring you back some grub. Oh! Can I help you with these? Thank you. I'm just going down towards the livery stable. Well, that's fine. Well, we'll be at the hotel restaurant. But if you don't make it, we'll understand. You're amazing. 
So I've been told. That's not what I mean. Kid and Cody are missing. Maybe dead. Ox got a price on his head. Who knows what'll happen for the trial? And you're acting like everything's great. What's the matter with you? The way I choose to handle my problems is my business. Unless you forget, they're my friends too. Sorry, Jimmy. You're right. You all right, Lou? Yep. Been riding hard. I just got some dust in my eyes. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Boy! Boy! That pretty lady got herself killed because of you. More people gonna die if you testify. You think on that, boy. A lot of people are gonna die. If they're not back by morning, I'll send out a posse. They can take care of themselves. They're probably just hiding. What if they're not? What if Nickerson's men got them? What if they're laying somewhere hurt? What if they... they... What if, what if? Why don't you start thinking everything's going to be OK instead of thinking the worst? What if you start doing that for a change, huh? Hickok's right. I mean, maybe we're worrying ourselves over nothing. Ain't no maybe about it. <laughs> See, I knew they'd show up. <laughs> Hope you ain't finished all the food. I'm starving. Oh, you still owe me two bucks, Cody. Damn! This calls for a celebration. Waiter, pitch your beer for the table. Beer? Yeah, why not? Even Emma would approve. Nickerson's in jail, Ike's gonna testify, and everybody made it in one piece. Pitch your beer sounds just right. Speaking of everybody, where's Ike? In jail. Jail. That's the safest place we could find. Buck? I bumped into a pretty lady on the way over here. <laughs> Helped to carry a few packages down the street. <laughs> that was over an hour ago. <laughs> Sounds like it's been a lucky night all around. Here you go. Oh, Marshal. A uh, gentleman asked me to give this to you. Well, thank you. I hope it ain't the bill. They got Buck. If your friend testifies, the Indian dies. I should have known they'd try to get the Ike to you others. We better tell him. You sure? Nickerson gets off. Ain't no guarantee he won't kill Buck just for spite. That tax call. Buck's his best friend. He's got to know. Ike, no one's going to blame you for not wanting to risk Buck's life. Listen to him, boy. He's talking sense. You gotta know, it's not likely a scum like him will let him go even if you don't testify. Boy! A deal is a deal. Another word out of you and I give this boy here the keys to your cell and take a long break. Well, Ike, what's it gonna be? He says he wants to do what's right. I'm not joking, boy. He wants to see Nickerson. Hey! He is gonna die! Ike. Are you sure? Yeah. That's right, boy. Think about it. 
It ain't too late. He says he saw his mother. His parents killed. Couldn't stop it. Didn't speak. Your friend dies. Your friend dies. Not tomorrow, not tonight. But the minute you get on that stand, the minute you get on the stand, We'll find Buck. Ike, I promise you. Boys, take heed. You have till noon. Don't get him, Ike. First, it was your ma. Then, it was your pa. Now, it's your best friend. And they call me Killer. Where the hell do we start? Oh, they could be keeping him anywhere. Miles from here. Yeah, they could be, but they ain't. Oh, little bird told you, huh? Jailbird is more like it Nickerson himself. Well, I didn't hear him say nothing. Because you weren't listening. He said that Buck's going to get killed the minute Ike takes the stand. So they're holding Buck somewhere near the courthouse. Where they can get a signal to someone. Start searching every building within eyesight of the courthouse. Cody, you and Lou take the east side of the town. Me and Jimmy will search west. Let's go. better without a gun. No, no sign of him anywhere. We're just about out of time. I'm going to go to the courthouse and see what's going on. The court will now come to order. Judge Harold Smith presiding. The court calls Ike McSwain to the stand. The court calls Ike McSwain to the stand.
Swain, would you please take the stand? Raise your right hand, put your left hand on the Bible. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Oh. Order in the courtroom. Order, order, order in this courtroom, please. Order. Order in the court. Mr. McSwain. Once again, Mr. McSwain, can you point out the man who murdered the passengers, the driver, and the shotgun guard of the Sweetwater Yellowknife stagecoach? Is he here, Mr. McSwain? We'll have order here. Tell him, Mike. I demand order in this courtroom. There will be order here. For the last time, I'll repeat the question, Mr. McSwain. Will you identify the man? Thank you. 